everyone! So I have talked loads and loads and loads about the pressure of feeling like you need to read a lot. I really firmly believe that there should never be any pressure attached to reading. But who doesn't want to read faster, right? Like, imagine the books I could get through. <laughs> Recently, um, a cool company called Skillshare reached out to me and said, Hey, Ariel, want to work together? And I was like, hmm, let me think about this. And I started looking on their website. So basically, it's like a YouTube, but for more educational content. And I was like, this is really cool, but I can't really think of a video idea for this. And then I typed in reading and videos about speed reading came up. And I was like, this is it. I have to see if I can actually learn how to speed read. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. Let us begin this journey. All right, so welcome to the control test. This is where I'm gonna, <laughs> so scientific. This is where I'm going to measure and figure out my current reading speed so that when I learn all about speed reading we can see if I've actually learned to read faster. What I've decided to do is to read from two different books to try and get more of a sampling of what I actually read like. So I've got five minutes on this timer. Open the page and I am ready to begin. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, go. Time has come. Now I'm gonna read Emma, which I'm expecting to read a lot less of Emma in five minutes. All right, five minutes on the clock. It begins. Time sure did fly. <laughs> so let's do the maths. So nine divided by five for radio silence is 1.8 pages per minute. And then for Emma, I was reading 0.8 pages a minute. That is the control test. It is now time to learn how to speed read. So I just finished watching my first speed reading lesson. I'm taking notes and everything guys. I'm doing this properly. <laughs> the two main things that I learned from this course. Number one is they recommend that you run your finger along the lines as you're reading because apparently um, your eyes jump around a lot and they say that if you run your finger along it helps your eyes stay focused and then your mind stay focused and that me seems to me to make a lot of sense. And the second thing was to avoid vocalization. So this is when you're either mumbling the words to yourself as you read them or you say them out loud in your head because that all takes time. So they said to avoid it chewing gum. I'm just imagining myself at the final test, how I'm gonna be like chewing on gum and reading my fingers and who knows what else all of these other courses are gonna make me do. All right, so I just watched another course on speed reading. This one was about an hour long and it was so excellent. Some of the things it talked about were the same as the other one, but just really expanded on them. This one said to sit in a chair, not to lay in bed because laying in bed is like too comfortable. So you're kind, you're relaxing more than you are being active. It talked about the idea of not regressing back and like looking at old words and not progressing forward and skipping ahead and it gives lots of drills. It's not like you're instantly gonna become a speed reader. It takes time and practice and training your brain to do the right thing and training your eyes to do the right thing. I'm really excited to do the final test and see if these tips and tricks actually work. Hey, so it's a different day and I've watched another speed reading course. Took my notes, took my notes. The first one was more about sub vocalization. So the fact that we read stuff out loud in our head when we read stuff and it's because that's how we were taught to read. So you can overcome that, which was interesting. And the other thing was all about saccades, which is the way your eye moves. I'm learning so much about the relationship between reading and eyes. Use your peripheral vision to save time instead of like your eye having to do all these movements if you just do like three movements but you use peripheral vision on each one it's supposed to save you a lot of time i'm feeling pretty trained up i think i've got some new skills and i think it's ready to take the final test and see if i can implement these skills and become a faster reader so welcome to the final test. This is where I'm going to try and implement the skills I have learned through Skillshare about speed reading 
and I'm going to see if I can actually improve my reading speed. I don't have gum, <laughs> but so many people mentioned chewing on gum would help that I went and stole from my mom some toffees because I thought that could maybe be a good supplement for something to chew. I also learned that what I should be tracking is not pages per minute, but words per minute. I'm nervous. We have five minutes on the clock. I've got my pacer. Got all candy. Start. Okay. <laughs> I will say uh, my candy ran out early, so that maybe that's why I wasn't able to speed read faster. <laughs> so going on to the second candy. <laughs> Really, I'm just having a party. I'm just eating candy and reading books. This is wonderful. All right, I am prepared. Candy, go. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the math right now and I will reveal what my words per minute were for before and after and I'll meet you at the end of this epic journey. <laughs> So welcome to the finale. Here is where we're gonna look at the statistics and I'm gonna tell you about this experience. Looking at the new statistics, I was reading about 390 words per minute of young adult and 296 words per minute of classics books. Okay, here are the new statistics. I'm I'm pretty, in I'm pretty excited about this. When speed reading for the YA book, I read 416 words per minute. That is a jump, but it's not a huge jump. And what I'm thinking happened is that number one, this is the first time I ever tried speed reading. I didn't practice beforehand. And the second thing that I think was a problem was that I am so far into this book now that I have like a certain pace at which I read this book. It's kind of like if a sloth was telling you a story and you were enjoying it, and then a really fast rabbit started telling you the story. Even though it's slower to go the sloth path, that's what you're used to for the story. So I think that's part of why I didn't speed up. But that's just a theory. What's shocking is what happened with the classic book. Originally, I was reading 296 words per minute. When I sped read, I was doing 444 words per minute. That's a huge jump. <laughs> I think that because I'm not familiar with the story, I haven't gotten into a rhythm with it, I was able to hardcore read. I think also I had a little bit of practice with the techniques from reading Radio Silence. Radio Silence is starting to feel like the practice because this is where like I actually got into the rhythm of speed reading and it really worked. I thought it was going to be silly using a pacer to like mark where I'm reading, but I actually found it helpful because it, it did mean that I didn't look forward and I didn't look backwards. I wasn't skipping around the page. I was just focusing on the line I was on. I don't know about the chewing technique because I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is Legit. I was thinking about the flavor of what I was chewing and that was distracting. I did find sitting to also be helpful because it is more of an active position. At the end of all things, this was just for fun. I might implement some of these techniques in my real life and try and read a bit faster, but overall reading is just for fun and I just thought this would be a really fun video to make and I've honestly had so much fun making it. If you're interested in checking out some of the videos I watch, there are so many courses on Skillshare. There's literally courses on everything and the people at Skillshare gave me a, um, what are those called? One of those links. <laughs> they gave me a link that will give you two months free for the service. So I'd like to thank Skillshare for partnering with me for this really fun video. I honestly had so much fun. I felt like, like I was on a journey, like I was an investigative um, journalist and I, <laughs> I was suddenly having to do research and learn new techniques just to see if I could, if I could do it. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys below. Have you ever tried speed reading? Um, I was like, I was also watching clips of speed readers on YouTube. It's insane. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. All right, bye.